Hello and welcome back to another Megacraft episode. Today, we're at the project. I spent a few hours last night doing this. Now, each of these areas is potentially a building, shop, game, whatever. I laid them out just in general fashion, so I was subject to change. This area will be a game. A game of chance. Now, I've got the input section and the reset set up because I needed to know where it's all going to start from and be reset from. And it goes back. I'm hoping I can shorten it by one or two blocks and we don't have to change our storage room. But let's get to it and I'll try to explain a bit as we go. Now I need a few more blocks out of my thing. Okay, now sorting system, normal sorting system. It'll be a diamond that gets filtered, runs through, hits this repeater. And then we got a signal after that. Need a pillar up so we can actually see. Okay, repeater. And that sends a signal to that. Which then we need a repeater there running into a T flip flop. Which pretty much just holds the signal on or off. Now a repeater, oh, I said. That's a comparator, not a repeater. Into a dispenser, which has got a hopper and a dispenser. and Yeah, I'll build it, then show it. Okay, I built dispenser, dispenser, hopper, comparator. That's the system. Put something in here, which... I'll just put this. That's in signal through. It switches out and puts in the bottom. No signal. That is pretty much all it does. Nope. Just one, thank you. Okay, from this repeater, we want our blocks. We want three different channels coming out of this. These will go to randomizers. Now, a randomizer is exactly what it sounds like. If you don't know, it randomly spits an item out of whatever you use, dispenser or a dropper. In this case, we're going to use a... What's it called? Dropper. But we need to separate these lines or... Well, these lines we don't need to separate. What we connect it to, randomizer-wise, will head back. They need to be separate. And the easiest way is to build them separate. So each unit... No, I want to use droppers. I've had issues with dispensers doing it. From here... Well, not that one, not that one, and not that one. We want repeaters here, running in to a block. So, like so. And these repeaters will be responsible for turning on and off this torch. As you can see, if there's power, torch is off. And opposite is true once the power is back on. Now, I need to build like this because I'm in the same block space where I want to place it. Come on. Give me it. Still in the same blocks. Nope. Okay. Apparently, we're going to use a dropper as a pillar block. Okay. Now, take this away. This dropper goes from here into a hopper 
there's another hopper on the back of all these. And then, fill it up, please. Dropper, dropper. We'll go over there and finish that. And that's the simple randomizer unit. Obviously, we need items, else it won't randomly do anything. Now, I'll just fill it up with this right now. Now, I managed to shrink it by a couple of blocks. I'm hoping I don't have to change the reset. That's what lengthened it a little when I built it in Creative World. But we'll get to the reset because I got a locking me mechanism that I need to put in. And that's what lengthened the design. So I don't interact with any of this. Because if I do, the whole system don't work. Now. Finish it off. That does not matter. That is the randomizers done. Without just need the items. Need a block there, block there, block there. We need comparators coming out from the hoppers. It will read the input of the hopper. Now, can we do this? Yes. Good thing they can't really go sideways if you put it like that. Now, we need, have no choice here, we need two blocks length. And that glowstone can go. We'll need to light this place up. Because if I need to go in and have any maintenance, I do not want to be killed by a bunch of skeletons. We need to light this end up, obviously. Now, reason why we needed two blocks and did not have a choice. Hold up. Mm. <laughs> Are you kidding? I built that whole system one block too low. Okay. I'll fix this. I'll build some more of this. There's just some redstone repeaters and torches. But we'll have a look at the, how the system's going to work. And then we'll have to figure out the actual build. So, I'll get to that and we'll be back, 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 back. Okay, I had to rebuild some of it because I did have to raise it up. But the randomizers run into here, into a block with torch, into a repeater with torch, and then if we jump up here, if we can, whoops, oh, hold on, we shall jump up here, should be able to see everything from here, come on, we are uh, too low. Come on, there. Okay, from there, these torches power this dust, which powers these dispensers, these repeaters. Now, we need to buy a couple of lamps, or make them, either way. Either way, I don't have any on me. I think I got one, so I need to buy a couple more. That's the reset lamp to tell you when it needs resetting. Now, if you stuck along, you'll notice we don't have a locking mechanism. Now, if I didn't do anything wrong by shortening it, we can just add it in now. Else, you won't be able to stop people using it whenever they want, instead of just when paid. Now we need two blocks out this way. We need a block on there. We need um, I'll use stone. Nope. Need that clear. Block down there. We need to have the ability to join this up. But we need a repeater where we're standing, some dust over there, a repeater over there, and inventory full. 
Dusta. Mm. Need me redstone stuff. One of you. Luckily, I have one. I thought I had more. It will. We can just make some more some other time, but we only need one. Now, nope, you need to go there. This needs to go on a proper block. Like so. Then we need dust and repeater. And we need to bring dust along here. And we'll connect it like so. And I'm pretty sure I'm out of just short of dust. How rude. Now, that's all powered but doing absolutely nothing. Now, we need to... Get down here, which means this needs to go repeater here. Uh, need to join this on the other side then, because repeater needs dust and this dust also. So up like this and we can join it like so it won't mind now it's locked need to unlock it to be able to do it again so we need to have it unlocked and we need a torch somewhere. Or whether here. So if we switch the T flip flop over, take the block out. This block has three blocks apparently. So that block is now in the bottom. No, that torch is not in the right spot. This is why you take better notes of what you did. Okay, that torch is now powered but powering nothing. So, what do we have? Do that and... Nope, that's a clock. Okay. Oh, I really should have taken better notes, because now I, okay, that's going to power everything, but if we go like so and so, and then dust down, and dust Double power of that, which we don't want, so we just get rid of that. Place this back in the top. No, I didn't want that. I want to interact with you. If this works... No, because we need that, so we need something to actually power that. Duh. Okay. Now we switch it over again. Ta-da! We have a locking system. Yeah, take better notes. Nope. Now we need it in here because the system needs to start unlocked, obviously. Not much point in having a system where you can't play. Now, that is half the locking system. You can now only play if you put the filtered item in or you could just run it off a button, but you need to push the reset to be able to push it again. Now we need to connect the reset and put a lock on the reset as well. Else you'd just be able to reset and play with this button. Now, to do that, we 
Need to run. This is the indicator light. Nothing else. So it's independent. We need to run that up to here-ish. So we'll probably, we'll probably get away with only using half that torch tower. But this is the important bit. Now, if I look at my notes again, we come down here, we look at this, we then have a full inventory again, get rid of everything, and then we'll just grab as we need. We'll need repeaters. I don't need those. Uh, might have enough repeaters. Might not. Uh, no torches, just this stuff. Now that needs to look at Yep, the other way. This looks at hello. <laughs> that does not need a delay, thank you. I'll decide if it does. Yeah, this whole reset thing could probably go up a block. What am I doing? Cause need to bring it in here. Where's this reset? Yeah, that's about right. Because I don't want to anywhere near the actual plank thing because people may have a tendency of push buttons. Okay, so instead of putting it all the way down there, we just throw it up here. Okay, as far as I'm aware, <laughs> I've done it right. Now, the problem was, I had a redstone blank and just didn't think repeaters would stop the fact that it's a clock. This has to be unpowered. This has to be powered, locking the repeater. This side runs in the torch tower. It needs to be powered for this one to be start the unpowered powered torch tower stuff. Indicator light is off, means we're ready to play. Now, I haven't set up the filter. I don't have diamonds on me, so we can't run through it right this second. But we'll play the game. Of course I did. By the end. But we need to actually build the actual... Um, building. So, I'll put stuff away, go back upstairs. And we'll get on with it. Okay, we're upstairs. Still need those lights. Totally forgot until I just looked at that. Now, obviously, that bit needs to be done as well. But we'll, that back wall bit will be a different thing. Don't worry. But, for now... Mm, yep, this is the start of the area. I will include this bit so please place right thank you we're gonna run these crimson what are they actually called stems like they're a mushroom or something whatever want to call it something cool go ahead and then we're gonna run them all along these ones you probably won't see because we're gonna have a wall there but I will know it's not there. Every time I go under, I don't. If I don't see it, it'll annoy me. So, ooh, that button being there is gonna be annoying. Hmm. Do we drop the floor by one? I 
I think we probably do. We'll drop the floor by one. I'll put these across. These are my building blocks. They actually have nothing to do with it. We're going to have spruce and stone brick. And then some glass. And the back wall is going to be some wool. If I can get the right colours. Else I'll just put some wool there and then get the right colours later. Because I need spider to come on because she's got dyes. I do not. She might have some stuff that I can get before the end of the episode. So, I'll start building and bring it back so you don't have to watch me place block by block. We have a building. It's nice and colourful. Now, it's not all complete because I need to do the reward system. I need to get a couple of different bits of wool. Do the filter system, but pretty much do the filter system, do the reward system, and we're done. And just aesthetics. But yep, yeah, it is pretty much done. You throw in a diamond, it reads it, runs a game, push a reset to play again, and a diamond. Rewards will go there, connected to the droppers that are over there. Obviously, this is for me to get in and out for now. It will be closed. I'll have a separate door to get underneath. Now, the rewards will be from... I'm going to call this bronze, silver, gold. Bronze is the lowest tier. Silver, metal, gold, obviously higher. More hi The less chance to get higher, slightly less. And... I think it works out about 33%, 14, 15%, and like 11, 12% chance to get them. But this stuff will be probably money, blocks of stuff, and things that you get that are valuable. Middle of the range and less valuable, but still useful. But now, next time... I will do something. So until then, bye.